Welcome back guys. This is Ashwin here. In this video we are going to solve the problem Goodland Electricity. Goodland is a country with a number of evenly spaced cities along a line. The distance between adjacent cities is one unit. There is an energy infrastructure project planning meeting and the government needs to know the fewest number of power plants needed to provide electricity to the entire list of cities. Determine that number. If it cannot be done, return minus 1. You are uh, given a list of city data. Cities that may contain a power plant have been labeled 1, otherwise not suitable for building a power plant are labeled 0. Given a distribution range of k, find the lowest number of plants that must be built such that all cities are served. The distribution range limits supplies to cities where distance is less than k. So distribution range means if you place a power plant means it will uh, give electricity to the nearby uh, k cities. So here we have an example. So k is 3. Each city is one unit uh, distance from its neighbors and we will use uh, zero based indexing. We will see that there are three cities suitable for power plants, cities 1, 2 and 3. If we build a power plant at an uh, array of 2 that is here we can able to serve these uh, cities around us like until here we can able to serve the city so k equal 3 means uh, uh, we have to consider uh, only the nearby uh, two cities because uh, the current city is also needs to be given uh, power supply so apart from that uh, these adjacent two cities will be given power supply and these adjacent two cities will be given a power supply and uh, it can serve through array of 0 to array of 4 that is here and because those endpoints are at a distance of 2 and uh, 2 less than k to serve array of 6 we would need to be able to build a power plant in city 4 5 or 6 since none of those is suitable we must return minus 1 it cannot be done using the current distribution constraint so here we can't able to distribute uh, electricity to all the cities that's why we are returning minus one for this example let's see some other examples so we can able to figure out the pattern so here they have mentioned input and output format and uh, we have n equals uh, 10 to the power of 5 so we can't able to go like go n square uh, time complexity i am going to solve this in uh, order of n that is linear time if you go for some brute force logic or any other uh, approach it will definitely exceed the time limit so we have to go for an optimal one now we have this test case and here it can able to give electricity up to two cities that is k equals 2 and n equals 6 so i'll be placing uh, a power plant here in array of 1 and uh, here in array of 4 so this will give electricity to the nearby uh, cities so these three cities will be covered and these three area will be covered so that's it that's the logic so all of them is covered means we have to print the minimum uh, power plants required that is 2 so now we are going to go in a greedy approach way so let's dive into the logic how we are going to solve this first we have to do some initialization now i have to initialize few variables that will be count equals i equals zero so this count represents uh, the number of uh, power plants we have to place and this is uh, i used to traverse the array so we are going to use the while loop before uh, using the while loop we have to uh, initialize another variable called location location equals i plus k minus 1 so as i already said we are going to go in a greedy approach so even the concept is greedy what i'm going to do is while i less than n so this is a basic condition for array traversal if array of location equals 1 so what i am doing is i'm just uh, incrementing the current index by k and minus 1 because uh, we have to give uh, power supply to the current city and the adjacent city that's why I'm just including minus 1 here we already seen it in examples 
Now, if I consider this example, 0, 1, 1, 1, and 0. So I will just uh, make the array here. So I will just copy this and paste it. Now initially array is 0 and uh, i plus k is uh, 0 plus 2 minus 1. So uh, it will be 1. So array of 1 is equal to 1. If we can able to place the plant in this uh, location means we will uh, increment i equals location plus k and uh, we have to update the next location that will be location equals i plus k minus 1 and after that we have to increment the count by 1 because uh, we can able to place the power plant here that's why I'm just incrementing it by one. If we can able to place a power plant here means uh, we have to execute these condition. So the first one i equals location plus k. So this condition is uh, representing for the next uh, area of city. So if you consider this one. So currently i is here. If you say currently location is here. If I say location plus k means it will go up to here. So location is 1, 1 plus 2 is here. So these three cities are covered with electricity. So I'm just uh, traversing through this. So high will be here and the second location will be i plus k minus 1. Same as here. So I'm just uh, checking whether we can able to place a power plant in the next iteration or not. So that is uh, next iteration step. So if we can able to place it means uh, we will again uh, execute uh, this logic and uh, sometimes uh, this updated uh, location will exceed the one so it will show index error to avoid that if location greater than or equal to n remember n is not also accessible because we can able to access only n minus one that is uh, zero based indexing so now we will just update to the last position location equals n minus 1 so this is the last uh, position we can able to access now this is one part if we can able to place the power plant now suppose let's consider uh, this one so currently in this location we can't able to place the power plant what can we do at this time so at that time we will say else else location minus equals 1 I'm just uh, traversing to the previous lo location to check whether uh, if there are any cities to place the power plant so in this case uh, for this example we can't able to place when the location uh, reaches less than 0 means we will return 1 or uh, if it goes to the previous area means we will also return minus 1 so when the location uh, reaches uh, less than 0 uh, this is for the initial state or to the previous area let's consider if this is success means and uh, here this failed and this also failed means so this is the previous area if it also touches this means we will return minus 1 so if location less than i minus k plus 1 so this condition represents the previous area so it will go to the previous one or location less than 0 so if any one of them satisfies means we will return minus 1 that means we can't able to uh, place the power plant to spread electricity to all the cities and I guess I I guess I may have uh, missed uh, one case so let's consider here one is there and uh, here one is there so uh, as I already mentioned this is covered so I will be here and after that if you uh, calculate the new location so lo location will be here so this won't satisfy we will decrement location by one and now this satisfies we will execute the condition 
and we will switch i to here when we switch i to here so in total we have placed two power plants so far for the last position if you calculate the location means it will exceed n so for that i'm just uh, enter the condition if uh, location is exceeds n means we have to uh, change the location to n minus 1 so this will be n minus 1 and uh, it will satisfy the condition and i will be incremented like it will be greater than n and the loop breaks so when it satisfies the condition means will it will increment the count by 1 so totally for this example the count will be 3 so this is like a sample example i just uh, created to cover all the cases i think uh, using this logic you can also trace the logic with some examples other than this to check how it works and to understand how it works or else it will be difficult if you just uh, see the code and uh, directly type it so it's completely useless if you do that so try to trace it and uh, try to like uh, skip this condition and uh, check how it works so you will able to figure out the way and uh, check out uh, what are the possible uh, corner cases we have I think that's it. Let's run the code to check whether it is uh, working or not. Okay, I think uh, I think I would have made some mistake. Okay, I didn't return the count itself. So that's a silly one. So return count. It's written it. Now it passed all the test cases. Let's submit the code. I think the logic is pretty simple. We have solved the problem. If you have any other logic other than this means uh, please leave a comment below. It will be very helpful for others. Apart from that, if you like this video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel and share the video to your friends if this is helpful. See you guys in the next video.